Welcome again to Wallatopia. Please remember to look to wallatopia.info as your place to register to receive early video notifications, discounts, and to be part of drawings we do on wallets that we give away every other week. Now, let's open up the Anson Calder. This is the cash zipper wallet. All right, we are in the typical Anson Calder box. It has a magnetic opening up here, and all the boxes are the same. I have noticed that this writing here, uh, this applique, can be different. The font is a little different on it. But if we open it up, we have uh, the typical pieces in here where you have the foam, which is cut exactly to the particular wallet that's in here. Nice insert that we always get from them. And if we look at the wallet itself, here we go. This uh, is the cash zipper wallet. And of course, with Anson Calder, it has the uh, typical thumb push pieces here for their quick access slots, both in the front and the back. Get a quick look at this here. You can see that it has a nice zipper that is integrated into it. We know how important zippers are. You can see the size here, it's not bad really. Now onto the feature review of the Anson Calder Cash Zipper Wallet. With the Anson Calder Cash Zipper Wallet, we can see in the front, we've got their mark here, we've got a card slot. The entry point is here in the top, and from here it provides a quick thumb access that is interesting how this opening slides all the way around. And if we open this up, you can see that it is one continuous piece of leather all the way around here. Uh, well, one underneath and of course the one over the top, which provides your access point that we saw here, as well as another card access on the back that comes in here. Now again, we open it up, and we come right here to the front we're on both sides. We have a single card slot access. And beyond that, that is the end of the features here. Of course, the zipper is a feature itself because that's what allows you to put all kinds of things in here and then close it up and, may, and then your contents are secure. But it really comes down to four slots. And that's a review of the features of the Anson Calder Cash Zipper Wallet. Now to the card and cash insertion test. As you saw, I got 10 cards, two cards on each of the outside, as well as three cards at each slot on the inside here, as well as seven slips of US cash folded over just once, which is really important. Now, the yen and the euro, they don't fit, so you'd have to fold them over twice to get in there, which really isn't ideal. The company indicates it can hold up to 18 cards, and with Anson Calder products, they always uh, have capacity uh, without a problem. I mean, they don't have capacity issues. It handles it just fine. Uh, because the leather will stretch out and, and, and handle it appropriately. Now, uh, the security of the zipper seems to be very good, and let's look at this here really quick. So one of the things here is to really shove this up, and that's generally what will catch zippers and cause a problem for them to, to not be able to close. So I've shoved that all the way up into the start mode, and it pulls out of it just fine. You pull it back hard and push it in there, and you think mm, that could cause problems, but you know what? It just pulls out just fine. And so, even though we can't see this, I you know I imagine this would be a uh, a really high quality zipper in here. I wish we could know what kind of wallet this or what kind of zipper this is, uh, because it uh, does handle itself very well, and we don't seem to have a lot of problems here. One thing that is neat to note is that right here, this little leather piece on the zipper pull is burnished. So that's attention to quality and detail there. So as all Anson Calder products, uh, this one is made out of French calfskin leather that's manufactured out of a 16th century French tannery. Uh, this also comes in a sport leather option, which can take more abuse, uh, but it's, it's more money. Now the manufacturing is done in the United States. It is made of a veg tanned, whoo baby, this, 
Gee, this really stinks. This doesn't have a good smell to it. Not really. Anyway, <clears throat> it is full grain leather and it has that burnishing on here I thought was kind of cool. It is very supple and very soft and the thickness of the leather really is just right for this. Like I said, it comes in uh, two types, a sports leather as well as this French uh, calfskin and only in two colors. It has RFID as well as non-RFID options and we know which one we should go with. That's right, non-RFID. Now I'm not sure where the zipper is made and there's a lot to be said about zippers, like I said, and who uh, has manufacturing them. YKK is what we're looking for. And you know, we could probably hit them up on Twitter and see what they say about this. The interior looks to be made from a, a thicker suede. We take a look here and you can see that uh, it's got two pieces to it. One under here and of course this uh, pocket that's put in here. And you can tell that there's really two layers here under. So we've got this layer under what we can see here of leather, this layer on top, as well as an additional layer. So we have three here uh, that make up this pocket. Like I said, it whew, it has a very pungent smell. Not sure why, but it doesn't smell very good. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, after the after looking at these two layers here, you can tell that uh, this has some good durability to it and, and really uh, should last you a long time. I'm actually kind of impressed with it, but here's why I'm not impressed with it. This calfskin non-RFID version wallet is priced at $180. With RFID, it's $190. Now the sport leather is $130, but seriously, don't waste your money on the RFID portion of it. From a usability perspective, as I demonstrated, this, this zipper really works smoothly. It doesn't catch at the start like we <coughs> talked about, and it doesn't have problems like you find with other zipper wallets. Now with all zipper wallets, you really can stuff them, uh, but it all depends on what you want to do with it. Now uh, this can of course take, uh, like I said, up to 18 cards as well as a lot of cash. You can put uh, receipts in there, cards, keys, coins, I mean there's a lot of uh, versatility here. And that measures 2.75 inches by 3.93 by 0.39 inches. Now again, I'm not very impressed because of the, of the pricing on this. That that's really what is uh, something that I didn't like. And this interior really kind of seemed to be rushed. There's not a lot of interior design in here that gave me any kind of feeling that there was a tremendous amount of thought put in here. Now, their support organization is excellent and they do know how to take care of their customers and so I know that we're fine there. So, now let's get into the final score. For quality of four, price a one, features a three, usability of four, and perception a three. That gives us a final score of 32 out of 50. Thanks for joining us as always. Remember, look at the links below. Don't forget that we actually have links to these things and we hope to see you again. Thanks, bye.